Okay, in this video we're going to talk about adding and subtracting vectors geometrically. So there's a couple things you have to know about vectors um, to be able to do this. And so the first thing is that vectors have um, what's called a magnitude, which when you're looking at them geometrically is just the length of the vector. Um, and they also have a direction. And direction is a little bit harder to talk about, but it's really easy to see when you're looking at it because your vector is going to look um, kind of like an arrow, and it's going to be pointing in a certain direction, and uh, that's the direction. So vectors really just look like arrows when you're drawing them. And so uh, let's draw a couple, show you what they are. So here's a vector. So uh, it's got a starting point, an ending point. The arrow is the ending point or the terminal point. Uh, the part that doesn't have the arrow is called the initial point of the vector. So I have this vector u. If I draw this vector, which has exactly the same magnitude or length and is pointing in exactly the same direction, this isn't actually another vector. This is also the vector u. So both of those are the vector u. Um, and then what I can do is I can draw this vector, which has exactly the same length as u. So it has the same magnitude, um, but you'll notice the arrow is on the other side, so it's in the opposite direction. So the initial point of this vector is the terminal point of the vector u, and the terminal point of this vector is the initial point of vector u. So this vector we can just call negative u. And so I've mentioned initial and terminal points a couple times, just in case you're uh, into screenshotting these or whatever. Um, the initial points are here, they're the ones that don't have the arrow on them, and then your terminal points are the ones that do have the arrows. And that terminology is actually pretty important for what we're going to do. Um, so you'll find initially when you're doing this, there's really no harm in thinking of a vector as just a set of directions, and the directions are basically telling you, um, you know, face a certain direction, and then uh, move the distance or the length of the vector. Okay, so that's a little bit of the background on vectors before we start adding them. And now what we want to do is add some vectors. And this is easier to do than to talk about, so we're actually just going to do an example. So we have the vector A and we have the vector B, and you can see their initial and terminal points. Um, and what we want to do in this problem is find A plus B. So it's A plus B, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with vector A. So I'm just going to sketch it over here. So that's vector A has exactly the same length and magnitude as the given vector a, so it's the same vector. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this. So uh, right here is what I call the initial initial point, because that's the first initial point that I drew when I was drawing this whole thing out. And what I'm going to do is, from this initial point, I go to a terminal point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this terminal point as the initial point for the next vector that I'm going to draw. So the next vector that I'm going to draw is vector b, and I'm going to use the terminal point of A as the initial point of B. So that's going to look like, it takes a long time to write. Okay, so that's going to look like this. So from the terminal point of A, I drew B. Um, so now there's another terminal point. So this is the final terminal point that I'm going to draw, right? So I went from the start of A to the end of A. I went from the end of A, that's the new start of B to the end of B. So this is the final terminal point. So I call this the terminal terminal point. So when I'm doing this, I have an initial initial point, which is the first point that I draw at all. And I have a terminal terminal point, which is the last point that I draw at all. And so what you're going to do to draw A plus B is you're going to go from the initial initial point to the terminal terminal point. So that vector right there that I drew, it's kind of hard to see the arrow because they're all clumped up. But that vector that I drew, is actually the vector a plus b. So in general, when we're drawing these, to draw the vector a plus b, you draw a vector from the initial initial point to the terminal terminal point. And we're going to do that every time, so it's not like that's going to change, so just remember that and you're going to be good. Um, let's talk about subtracting vectors. So to subtract vectors, what I do is I just add the negative. So if a problem says find a minus b and we're given the vector a, we're given the vector b, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to change a minus b into a plus the opposite of b, or negative b. And so then to do the problem, I need to know what negative b is. 
So negative b, remember, is going to be exactly the same length as b, but it's going to point in the opposite direction. So that's what negative b would look like. So to do the problem, I'm going to start with a, and then from the terminal point of a, I'm going to draw negative b, like that. There's negative b. And then you go from the initial initial point, which is the initial point of a, to the terminal terminal point, which is the terminal point of negative b. So we're going to go like this. And so that vector is a plus negative b, but we know that a plus negative b is just a minus b. So that's how I always subtract vectors. So now I'm going to do a problem that has um, three vectors, just kind of show you how this works. So if I'm given the vectors a, b, and c, um, I'm kind of color coding there. And what I want to do in the problem is I want to sketch a plus b minus c. Okay, so let's think about it. So to scratch, I'm just going to do a plus b. So to sketch a plus b, I start, well, I've already got a. So from the terminal point of a, I'm going to draw the vector b. So we have that. Um, now, instead of minus c, I'm going to do plus negative c. So negative c has exactly the same magnitude as c, but is in the opposite direction. So that's going to look like this. And then again, what we do is we go from the initial initial point, which is the initial point of a, to the terminal terminal point, which is the terminal point of negative c. So I'm going to draw that vector. And then that vector is the result of all the things we did. So we actually just call it the resultant vector. So there's our resultant vector. So what if you didn't like the order in which that happened? I don't know why that would be the case. But what if you didn't? And so you start here. And instead, you decide to go, um, you start at a, and then you go uh, negative c. So you're going to go a plus negative c first. So that's from the terminal point of a, you're going to draw negative c first. So that's going to look like that. And then from the terminal point of negative c, you're going to draw the vector b. So we're adding b now. And then you still go from initial initial to terminal terminal. So you get that. And if you look at it, we just did a minus c plus b. And the result, the result in, was exactly the same. So we get the same result. And so it actually doesn't matter what order you do these in. If one is more convenient than the other, I don't really think that's true. Although I guess I didn't cross vectors when I did the second one, which maybe is a little clearer. I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's how you can add and subtract vectors geometrically. I hope you found this helpful and good luck.